So, halimbawa, you have a you have a gas, ano? You have a gas pressure on top of a liquid, ano? So, what will happen is uh, if that gas is soluble in the liquid, so, so some of the gas molecule will dissolve in the liquid, ano? <clears throat> and then this is governed by the Henry's law. So, I hope you, you still remember Henry's law from physical chemistry. So, Henry's law mathematically is expressed as P sub A. <clears throat> P sub A is the partial pressure of the gas on top of the liquid, you know? And then this is equal to K sub H. K sub H is the Henry's law constant. And then X sub A. X sub A is the mole fraction of the gas, you know, of the gas molecule in the liquid solution. So, basically, this is the mole fraction. X sub A is the mole fraction you know, of the gas molecule on, on the liquid. <clears throat> so what, what Henry's law is telling you it, is that if you apply a certain pressure of the gas on top of the liquid, some of the gas molecule will dissolve on the, on the liquid. You know? And then the, the concentration, that is the X sub A, you know, the mole fraction of the gas is directly proportional to the partial pressure over the liquid. You know? <clears throat> so kung tandaan nyo pa sa physical chemistry, uh, discuss natin to with, ano, with, with, uh, with uh, ang ating example is uh, yung soft drinks, yung soda. Ano? So di ba, ang soft drinks merong dissolved na carbon dioxide. So how do you produce, how do you produce soft drinks? So you have, you have some flavors and then generally sugar dissolved in water and then you you place some ano some carbon dioxide no over the liquid and then eventually the carbon dioxide will dissolve on the on the ano on the liquid no so ganun din sa gas absorption so imagine if you have if you have ano uh, if you have gas halimbawa blue gas tandaan niyo pa yung yung ano yung uh, when we, when you do combustion so when you do combustion the product is water and carbon dioxide <clears throat> So if you have excess air, yung blue gas will contain uh, carbon dioxide, uh, nitrogen, and oxygen. Tandaan nyo pa yun? So if you let this pass through a, a gas absorption tower, tapos you, you spray uh, halimbawa sodium hydroxide on the top of the tower. So basically the, the carbon dioxide, because of the Henry's law, no, will, will dissolve in the sodium hydroxide solution. No? So that's how that's how ano, gas absorption works. <clears throat> gas absorption gas absorption means the the gas molecule is being removed from the gas stream and being transferred to the liquid stream. Imagine yo. <clears throat> so bakit bakit natatanggal yung ano yung halimbawa yung carbon dioxide? Kasi soluble siya dun sa ano, dun sa, dun sa, sa water, no? dun sa liquid, sa carbon dioxide, sa sodium hydroxide. So generally, yung bawa ganyan, you know? this is your tower. So if you, if you, yung bawa, if you introduce the blue gas, no, on the bottom of the tower. So yung bawa, this is the blue gas. So the blue gas contains CO2, ano? contains carbon dioxide. Tapos on the top of the tower, you introduce and bawa a uh, sodium hydroxide solution. So this is liquid, you know? This is liquid. <clears throat> this one right here is an, siyempre, this is gas, di ba? Imagine nyo ba? So what will happen is, uh, because pag nagkaroon sila ng contact, what will happen is that the carbon dioxide will transfer to the liquid. Siyempre, hindi naman lahat. Pero some of it, ano, will transfer to the liquid. So pag maglabas dito ng sodium hydroxide solution, meron na siyang carbon dioxide. Okay? Dito naman, paglabas ng flue gas, uh, nabawasan na yung carbon dioxide mo. Imagine nyo ba? <clears throat> Tapos yung mathematical equation na nag-govern, uh, yung simplest mathematical equation. Pero later, you will, you will see uh, lots of tables. Ano? May mga tables din naman tayo, mga empirical tables. Pero kung gusto nyo yung same thing, ano, principle, Henry's na lang yan. Okay. Any question? So P sub A right here is the pressure of the gas acting over the solution. 
Imagine that. No problem, no question. Well, uh, let's proceed. Let's try to solve uh, no, example 10.2.1. <clears throat> Kindly check your anot, uh, pero hindi nakamute. Okay, so let's try to solve example 10.2. That's one. This is a, a Henry's law problem. You know, dissolve oxygen concentration in water. What will be the concentration of oxygen dissolved in water at 298 Kelvin when the solution is in equilibrium with air at one atmosphere total pressure? The Henry's law constant is 4.38 times 10 to the 4 atmosphere per mole fraction. So imagine in your problem. You are asked to solve for the concentration of oxygen in air. In, in water, sorry, in water. No, if if the water is in equilibrium with air, and total pressure ng air is one atmosphere. So how do you solve this? So we're going to use the Henry's law. Ano sabi ng Henry's law? P sub A is equals to Henry's law constant K sub H times X sub A. So ang tinatanong dito ay yung X sub A, yung concentration ng air. No? So basically, this is the Henry's law. So pag in-express niyan in terms of oxygen, you're, you're looking at PO2 is equals to Henry's law constant. Ito yun, ano? Times the mole fraction ng oxygen. <clears throat> okay. So you have air. <clears throat> so what would be the PO2? If, if the total pressure of air is one atmosphere, ano ang PO2? Christiana? Ano ang partial pressure ng oxygen? If you have if the total pressure of air is one atmosphere, what would be the partial pressure of oxygen? Yung 4.38 times 10 to the 4. So that's, that's, that is the Henry's law constant. Ito yun. Henry's law yan. Ano yung PO2 natin? One atmosphere in total pressure. 4.184, sir. I did. Ito yun. Ang hinahanap natin, XO2. So in order to solve for XO2, dapat alam niyo yung PO2. <clears throat> Anyone? Ano ang PO2? Gio, ano ang PO2? <clears throat> Tama ang sagot mo sa ano? Sa chat? Yung 21% po. Yeah, 21%, but in terms of pressure. Tama yun, 21%. So, how many atmosphere? 0 0.21. 0 0.21 atmosphere. Hmm. Do you get it? Bakit, bakit 0 0.21 atmosphere? Kasi di ba, kung tandaan nyo, di ba yung air, air is 79% nitrogen. No? So, pag kemen, kailangan marunong mag-memorize. No? Huwag mo kakalimutan. Tapos 21% oxygen. No? So, di ba, uh, yung total pressure, uh, mole fraction, ano? mole fraction, Y. <clears throat> YO2 is equals to uh, PO2 divided by P. This is the total pressure. No? Total pressure. So, kung 0.21 yung YO2, Okay? So, PO2 tapos 1 atmosphere in total pressure. So, pag sinod nyo yung PO2, you will have 0.21 atmosphere. Any question? Do you have any question? So, sod nyo yung XO2. Get your calculator. You will get something like O. Four point seventy nine times ten to the minus six. No. Ganyan ganyan lang kaliit yung mole fraction ng oxygen. Pero meron, ano? Meron. May madidisolve. Pag inisip nyo, may madidisolve ng oxygen sa water. Pero konting konti lang. No. So pag nagsolve tayo later ng pag nag-solve tayo later ng gas absorption problem, itong maliit na to, ini-neglect na natin. Ano? So mag-assume tayo na practically, 
ang air ay insoluble sa water. Pero actually meron, pero konti lang. You get that? And that is how and this is how you use the ano, the Henry's law constant, no? Ito yun na lang. So, ito yung solution. So, yun. You're supposed to get this one na 4.8 times 10 to the minus 6. So, yun. 4.8 times 10 to the minus 6. Na? Any question? Do you have any question? <clears throat> Okay. So let's let's try to solve a single state's equilibrium gas absorption problem. Ano? So generally for gas absorption, we have this um, assumption. Ano? So generally ang, ang component natin, uh, we have air, water, and gas. So parang we have this. Usually kasi tower yan, ano? So, yung meron yung air dito na pumapasok sa ilalim, usually meron siyang ano, uh, this this air contains the gas molecule, ano? Or the gas, the solute, ano? Nandito yung gas sa air. <clears throat> Tapos uh, sa taas, uh, we we introduce the liquid, the liquid solvent, ano? Generally water yung ginagamit natin. Okay? So, Ito yung ano, ito yung assumption natin, ano? So first is number 1 is air is, is insoluble in water. So nakita niyo naman doon sa una nating sinolve na problem, uh konting konting amount lang ng oxygen yung na-dissolve sa water, di ba? So ito yung una nating assumption, air is insoluble in water. So pag nag-solve tayo, i-i-assume natin na ganyan. Air is insoluble in water. And then water will not evaporate, no? So th there's a there's a small amount of water that will evaporate, pero Compared dun sa total amount na nagpo-flow sa tower, uh, negligible yun. No? So ito yung dalawang assumption natin ano? sa gas absorption solution. Air is insoluble in water and water, water will not evaporate. Thus, only the gas transfer from uh, B. B means, uh, D, this is the B, ano? this is the, the air gas flow. So the, that's only the gas transfer from uh, B to L. This is L, the liquid. You know? Question? Kakaintindihan ba tayo? <clears throat> how do how do you how do we how do we you know, justify this assumption? So limbawa, yung air is insoluble in water. Nakita niyo naman yung first problem natin, ano? The mole fraction of air is is in the order of 10 to the negative 6. Diba? That, that's that's very ano that's very small. <clears throat> so wala pa yung 0.01%, diba? At multiply mo siya ng 100 magiging 10 to the negative 4% lang siya. So in in reality empirical uh, data shows that air is practically insoluble in water. What about the second assumption? Water will not evaporate. So generally kasi malaki malaki yung flow, but malakas yung flow ng water ng liquid ano solvent, no? So konting konti lang yung mag-evaporate doon. Um, hindi naman kasi boiling yung operation natin. Usually yung liquid ay subcooled liquid. So pag subcooled liquid, mababa lamang yung partial pressure nung nung solvent. So konting konti lang yung mag-evaporate, ano? Okay, so just tandaan niyo na lang tong dalawa na to. Yung dalawang assumption na to. And of course, ah, uh, yung pati yun, ano? So in in, in essence, Yung, yung gas lang yung nagtatransfer from one stream to the other. Gas lang yung nagtatransfer. No? Okay lang. So gas lang yung nagtatransfer ano, from, from B to L. Okay. So let's try to solve this problem. Example 10.3-1. Equilibrium stage contact for carbon dioxide, air, and water. A gas mixture at one atmosphere pressure, uh, absolute pressure, ano, containing air and carbon dioxide is contacted in a single stage mixer continuously with pure water at 293 Kelvin. So the two exit gas and liquid stream creates equilibrium. <clears throat> the inlet gas flow rate is 100 kilogram mole per hour with the mole fraction CO2 of uh, Y82 is equal to 0 0.2. 
So the concentration of air is ano, it's, it's 20% carbon dioxide. Ano? Tapos it's flowing at 100 kilogram mole per hour. <clears throat> Imagine nyo. We have air here. No? Uh, it's flowing at 100 kilogram mole gas per hour. Okay? Tapos ano nito? 20% nya ay carbon dioxide. <clears throat> the chlorate the, the liquid flow rate entering is 300 kilogram mole per kilogram mole per hour water. Ano? Ito, we have 300 kilogram mole water per hour. Okay, so and then we have the Henry's law constant. This is the Henry's law constant, A sub H. The Henry's law constant is 0 0.142 times 10 to the 4 atmosphere per mole fraction. This is for carbon dioxide. Ano? This is for carbon dioxide. Okay, so you are asked to calculate the amounts and composition of the two output phases. Assume that water does not vaporize to the gas phase. So how do you, how do you solve this problem? <clears throat> the amounts and composition. So halimbawa, we call this, yung lumalabas dito as B1. Tapos yung, yung lumalabas dito as L1. So hanapin natin kung ano Ilang kilogram mole per hour yung L1? Ilang kilogram mole per hour yung B1? No? Anong concentration ng L1? Anong, anong magiging concentration ng B1? After a single stage. No? After a single stage of ano, gas absorption. <clears throat> okay? So we just apply the, ano, we just apply the assumption. So assumption natin, lahat ng water hindi mag-i-evaporate. So uh, ilan, ilan yung amount ng water dito sa L1? Kung walang water na mag evaporate This is liquid one, ano? Of course, 300 pa din, di ba? We, st we still have 300 kilogram mole of water. <clears throat> halimbawa, uh, let's, let's use a, halimbawa, ang basis natin is one hour of operation. So, we still have 300 kilogram mole of water, di ba? Sa L1. <clears throat> Ano pa? Ano pa ang dadagdag sa kanya? Meron pa, meron pupunta dito ang carbon dioxide, no? So, how how do we find the amount of carbon dioxide na pupunta sa L1? We're going to use the Henry's law, no? So, ano sabi ng Henry's law? Sabi ng Henry's law, yung partial pressure ng CO2, no, is directly proportional sa mole fraction ng CO2. Okay? So, anong partial pressure ng CO2? It's 20%. 20% yung, yung, yung gas natin, 20% ng CO2. Ang total pressure natin ay 1 atmosphere. Uh, J-Mill, J-Mill de Chavez, anong partial pressure ng CO2? Anong PCO2? 20% ang CO2, tapos 1 atmosphere. J-Mill. Jamil, can you hear me? Princess. Princess Ceres. Anong partial pressure ng CO2? Kalila. Princess, are you around? Magparamdam ka. <laughs> Narinig niyo ba ako? Sino pa? Oh, ano? Aina. Aina Remo. Anong partial pressure ng CO2? PCO2. What is the value of PCO2? I mean, yung atmosphere. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo? Ayun, ayun. May chat. Yung mic naman kayo ba tayo gumawin yung mic mo? Oh, ikaw na lang, Jericho. Jericho, anong partial pressure ng CO2? PCO2. What's the value? Sobra. Bakit 0.25? Man, very good, Christiana. 0.20 lang. Ha? 0.20 lang. Very good, Christiana. Ito yung multiply nyo lang dun, oh. ba? 0.2 times 1 atmosphere. So, 0.20 atmosphere. Ganun lang yon. Hirap talaga ng online, ano? 
Kung mga simpleng bagay eh, sa totoo lang. <laughs> Ay, naku. Uh, anong case of age natin? Nicolo Stereo. Hindi ko alam kung nagkakaintindihan ba talaga tayo, nag-attendance lang tayo. Ano ang ating case of age, Miss Nicolo Stereo? Hmm? Ayan na. 0.142 times yeah. 10 to the fourth power po. Yeah, very good. Very good. Ano? 0.142 times 10 to the 4 atmosphere. No? Per mole fraction. Tapos i-multiply nyo ito ng XCO2. So makukuha nyo yung concentration dito sa liquid ng carbon dioxide by using your calculator. Ano? Just use your calculator. 0.2 divided by 0.142 exponent 4. So you're, you're supposed to get something like 1.41 times 10 to the minus 4. No? So, XCO2, kuha niyo ba yan? Is 1.41 times 10 to the minus 4. So, ganyan, ganyan kababa lang yung, ano, yung mole fraction ng carbon dioxide dito sa liquid. Pag, di ba, pag, pag X, liquid yan. No? So, yan lamang yung concentration niya. Ganyan kaliit. <clears throat> so, if you, if you wanted to calculate how many... How many kilogram mole of CO2 ang na-transfer sa water? How, how are we going to do that? Ilang ilang kilogram mole ng CO2 yung na-transfer sa water? So, ano bang ibig sabihin nitong XCO2? Di ba pag mole fraction, ang X, XCO2, this is equal to number of moles of CO2, di ba? Divided by number of moles of water plus number of moles of CO2. Do you agree? Pag mole fraction, Tama? Or number of moles of CO2 divided by the total number of moles. And the total number of moles is composed of water and CO2. So, isolve, isolve natin by substituting XCO2 dito. It's 1.41 times 10 to the minus 4. Tapos yung NCO2 natin, ano? NCO2. Tapos NCO2 ulit. So, we have only one unknown, NCO2 plus 300. 300 is the kilo, kilogram mole of water. So solve natin how many moles of CO2 is being transferred to water. 1.41 exponent minus 4. So alpha equal. Tapos hindi nyo maintindihan. Ano? Tapos papanoodin ulit yung recording. <laughs> o ano man kayo. Ang simple-simple lang nito talaga. 0.042. No, ganun, ganun lang kakonti yung number ng carbon dioxide na na transfer sa sa liquid water. Ano? 0.042. Imagine that out of out of di ba 20% siya, out of 20 kg mole of carbon dioxide only 0.0423. This is negligible amount, no? Kg mole of CO2 is transferred to is transferred to the water. No? So practically Ano ba tinatanong kayo? Ano ang flow rate ng L1? This is 300.0423 kg mole per hour. So practically, this is just the same as 300 kg mole per hour. Do, do you get that? Kasi mamaya makikita nyo yung sagot. Ang sagot, L1 is equal to 300. No? So kung 300 to, ano yung B1? Hmm. Anong value ng B1? Nicole, Mysterio. Nasa unahan kasi si Nicole. <laughs> anong value ng B1? Kung 300 yung L1, so anong value ng B1? Mag ano kayo? Overall mass balance. 300 yung pumasok na water. 300 din yung lumabas. 100 yung gas. So anong value ng B1? Yun ang sumagat. Oh, tama. Jericho. Very good. 100 din. Practically 100 din yan. Pero kung gusto nyo mas maging exact, yung minus itong 0.0423, so mga 99.96, gano'n na. Pero practically, makikita nyo sa good aging ko, please. This is just 100 kg mole per hour. So do you have any question regarding this problem? 
Nasandan naman? <clears throat> Nasandan? So, yun, yun, yung, yun yung ano, yun yung consequence pag single stage lang. Usually, konti lang yung nakukuha nating ano, gas. No? Konti lang yung na-absorb na gas to water. So, it's either ang gagawin natin, palitan natin yung water, usually ginagamit nila dyan, sodium hydroxide para mas efficient. Tapos, dinadagdagan nila yung, ano, yung number ng stages. Question. Do you have any question? Okay. So, if you don't have any question, you can check the answers in the book. Ano? So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Ang L1, 300 din lang. Ang B1, 100 din lang. Kasi konting-konti lang talaga yung concentration ng carbon dioxide. 1.41 times into the minus 4. Okay? Question? Clarifications? <clears throat> Yan. So, gas equilibrium curve versus Henry's law curve. So, alam nyo naman to, di ba, sa physical chemistry, ang Henry's law ay limiting law. No? Ganon. Ang Henry's law ay limiting law. Ano ibig sabihin ng limiting law? So, ibig sabihin ng limiting law, totoo lamang siya in reality pag, ano, pag mababa ang concentration. No? Pag yung X sub A nyo approaches zero. Kung baga, pag sinabing limiting law, uh, at a certain limit, totoo siya. Pero, as you go away from that limit, hindi na siya totoo. Parang ideal gas law. Di ba ang ideal gas law, totoo lang siya pag mababang mababa ang pressure. Pero pag sa industrial operation na, hindi na pwede ang ideal gas law pag mataas na ang pressure. So ganun din yung Henry's law. No? So as you can see, ito yung Henry's law curve. Ito yung actual curve. So medyo nagdi-debate na yung reality sa Henry's law pag tumataas na yung concentration. This is the concentration of SO2. No? So yan. Kasi SO2 talaga yung ano niyan. Pag, pag nag-filter ka, lalo na sa Pilipinas, ginagawa natin ay sabon. <laughs> ang kaya may gumagawa ng tide. <laughs> ng breeze, no? So, yan. Okay? So, nag na siya pag mataas na yung concentration. Kailangan na natin gumamit ng mga diagrams, ng mga empirical tables. No? Question, clarification. So, next, punta tayo sa ano, multi-stage. Mukhang matatapos itong ano na to, ano? Uh, two minutes na lang. So I, I think um, so makakatayo anytime. So pag nakatayo, I'm going to provide another Zoom link. Connect ulit kayo ha. Okay, so multi-stage operation. Um, so that, that generally, dadagdagan natin yung stages. Ano? Uh, Parang ayoko itong naka, nakahiga kasi. Mas maganda yung nakatayo. Anyway, ito na lang. So these are the two general types of gas absorption equipment. Ano? Uh, we have pack columns. So pag pack columns, meron kayong ano, cylinders. No? Imagine nyo ng cylinder drum. No? Meron kayong drum. Tapos pinupuno siya ng pack materials. Ng packing materials. So ano yung mga packing materials? Like this one. Ano? Like this one. I, I hope you can imagine this. Uh, cylinder sila na butas, parang tubo na pinutol-putol. Tapos this, these, are, these are known as rushing rings. So rushing rings are generally, ang, ang kanyang height ay 1 inch. Tapos yung kanyang diameter 1 inch din. Tapos may butas sa gitna. No? So imagine ninyo, ito binubuhas, binubuhas ito sa loob ng drum. Tapos yung drum, butas yung dalawang end niya. No? Siguro nilalagyan lang ng screen para hindi... Para hindi siyempre ma, 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 lumusot to no? sa ilalim. Tapos sa ilalim, doon ini-introduce yung gas, no? yung air na may gas, or yung, yung B sa ilalim ini-introduce yun. You, you can use a blower, you can use a compressor, so whatever device that you can use. Ano? Pag introduce the gas or pwedeng pan no? on the bottom. Tapos sa taas, ini-introduce yung liquid. Imagine nyo? <clears throat> So, stop share ko na lang ano, ayo kung mahintuan naman. Dipa tayo sa kabila. Pasok tayo sa kabilang link. <clears throat> 